Thank you for watching. My name is Glenn Morgan, and this is We the Governed. How much is our news censored, and will we continue to allow ourselves to be silenced? Censorship has been in the news for quite a while lately, and it seems to keep popping its head up as we talk about Facebook or Twitter or Google or somebody else trying to censor a new conservative group or somebody who just thinks differently. And so the question of censorship, whether that be by the government or whether that be kind of by groupthink in the traditional media or whether that be by the tech giants that we have to deal with every day that is constantly in the media. And if you're a citizen journalist like I am or you're trying to report on local news or news that may be a little different than what the traditional news stations or people might want you to hear, then this is always a question. Censorship and how much are we willing to allow ourselves to be silenced? And it has been more common lately over the last few years to talk about fake news, the idea that the news is being manufactured, whether that be by traditional media where they decide to make something look like it, uh, something that's not, whether that's uh, the old blowing up the cars by, I think it was ABC back in the day, or one of these news stations that put on some kind of a fake story, and some other scandals that have appeared in the past. This has been going on for a long time. But lately, it's been hyped up more because there seems to be much more of a partisan angle to a lot of this stuff. It's because the question of what's fact and what's fake in the news tends to be constantly up for debate. And that debate is okay. There's some healthiness there. You should have multiple perspectives on a lot of these stories. There's nothing wrong with that. But unfortunately, what we see happen more often than not is instead of saying there's two sides to a story or there's allowing both sides to kind of debate what's actually going on out there, there tends to be this uh, approach that one side must be a fact and the other side must be fiction and that there's no other way to look at things. And oftentimes, this just comes down to an argument that one side just says, I disagree with you because I don't like what you're saying or I disagree with your politics, and so therefore everything you are saying must be fake. And that isn't usually the case. And usually there's some merit to both sides, but unfortunately this gets to the point where politics being what they are and the emotions that tend to rise with them, everybody gets angry and hopefully it doesn't come to blows. But that's where we are in the modern day kind of reporting, especially in the citizen journalism world while we're out there reporting on these issues. Now, supposedly, all of us are just looking for the truth. And the truth is important. The truth will set you free. The truth is what we are looking for in local government or when we're reporting on what's going on in our communities or around the state or what's happening in our cities. We want the truth. Everybody says they do. However, what we have seen lately is that there are things that you're no longer allowed to say. There's things you're no longer allowed to think straight out of Orwell. Some kind of an idea that there is such a thing called wrong think. And wrong think is real. I mean, there's a definition actually for it. And that's the idea that your beliefs or opinions are, that you have, they may be contrary to the prevailing orthodoxy. And you are not allowed to say them. You're not allowed to think them. It would be wrong think. So let's talk about an example of something that was wrong think for a while and now it's not. And it comes down to this idea about the coronavirus, that it was created in a lab and that it could have been an accidental or a purposeful release when this came up 14 months ago. Anybody that dared say that idea or theory was roundly ridiculed by the traditional media. Uh, Twitter, Facebook, Google took you off, eliminated your Facebook page, shut you down, silenced you, shadow banned you because that was wrong think. You weren't allowed to think that. And now, despite the fact that many of these same people had some of the evidence we have today that's become more public, now that uh, the Seattle Times or the uh, New York Times comes out with a story or Fauci comes out and admits this, now that all this evidence is starting to come out that this is a legitimate theory, it doesn't mean it's absolutely right, but it looks like something that could be true. Now suddenly it's no longer wrong think. So this is the problem with wrong think because it does change over time. Here's something else that's wrong think. Antifa, they exist and they commit arson and they suck. This is something that if you say that in Seattle or if you say that in Portland today or if you say that anywhere else in the country, you get censored and banned because you're no longer allowed to think that a group that's out there burning down the cities and destroying things that it exists. It's just a figment of your imagination. Even though you're watching them do this every day in the streets of Portland, they're, they don't exist. <laughs> Wrong think. You can't think that way. Here's another one. Critical race theory, that it's a hateful, racist propaganda that's being shoved into our schools, that there's nothing good about it. It's a terrible program, terrible idea. Well, that's wrong think. You're not allowed to think that. And in fact, if you bring that up at a school board meeting, you very well could get tossed out. And this is another problem. We saw, in, at least where I live in our state legislature, all the Democrats came just tripping over themselves coming out to defend this. How dare anybody question critical race theory? Another wrong think idea. 
How about the idea that the mainstream media is subject to groupthink and that they basically censor the truth? They decide to get together and they decide, are, is this something that we're actually going to talk about? Or is it something that we're uh, going to allow the public to see or know? Despite all the evidence that they do this on a regular basis, constantly with stories all the time, you are not allowed to think that. By God, if you do, you will get censored. Your Facebook page will be taken down. Here's a good one. This has been very relevant lately. The lockdown policies are total failures and that the lockdown governors are even bigger failures and they're hypocrites to boot. This is again, wrong thing. Not something you're allowed to say or even think. Dare whisper out there. <laughs> again, something you're not allowed to think. How about our election systems vulnerable to fraud and manipulation? Now this wasn't wrong think if you had thought it in 2016 to 2000, October of 2020. Up until then, this was perfectly okay. It was a great thing to do stories and the traditional media covered stories about all the vulnerabilities in our election system. But after November 2020, this has become wrong think. You're no longer allowed to think that. That's illegal. You, you can't think that. If you dare think that, you're going to get censored. You're going to be shut down. Twitter's going to put something next to your comment. Uh, so will Facebook. Google might take away your YouTube channel if you dare to bring up any questions on this subject. Wrong think. Our government can't, here's another good one, this is a classic one. Our government can't print trillions of dollars without causing financial harm and then sticking the pain with future generations. Wrong think, you are not allowed to think that. You're supposed to believe that they can just print trillions of dollars and have no significant negative consequences ever. <laughs> Wrong thing, don't think that way. Here's a good one, our government school system is horrible. And since this is usually particularly people who live in urban environments and they get a chance to experience the government school system and it's glory and wonder and it's full on display, especially now as they're censoring the idea of having magnet schools or, char or any other kind of charter schools around, uh, and they've been shut down now for over a year, they're trying to tell us that, uh, that there's, you're not allowed to even question, don't even criticize them. Just pretend like there's nothing to see here, there's no problems. It's perfectly normal to have the teachers be not in the school for a year, year and a half, who knows? That's wrong thing. Here's another good one. Our elected officials, they don't know what they're doing or the too corrupt to care. Now, this is true. You're allowed to think this if they're the right political party. So if you think this about a Republican, that's okay. If you think about a Democrat, wrong thing. You're not allowed to think it. So this is <laughs> the problem. The question is, what can you think about? You know, And this is really something that we need to consider when we're looking out there. Look at all these things that you're just no longer allowed to think about. How about things like, if you defund the police, crime will escalate. How dare you think that? Despite all evidence in Minneapolis and Seattle, that's exactly what happens. You may not think that. How about if you take guns from law-abiding citizens? Only the criminals will have guns. That's been wrong think for 50 years. The media doesn't believe you should think that at all, and neither does the big tech. That's something you can't think. How about this? If you give more of your money, money to the government, they're just going to waste it. They're going to waste most of it. That's wrong think. You're supposed to think the government has your best interests at heart, and they will spend your money mostly right, <laughs> despite all evidence to the contrary that they waste it every single day they go to work. Here's some more examples. How about our government bureaucracies filled with self-serving grifters who don't care about us? That's not hard to figure out, and anybody who interacts with government can usually figure it out for themselves, but you're not allowed to think that. You certainly can't write about it. How about our politicians are often corrupt, inept clowns? Who should not be there? We wish that they weren't there, but you're not allowed to think that either. How about this, that if we elect Democrats to run government, they'd trash and destroy our communities, but if we elect Republicans, they just seem to appease the Democrats. That's also wrong think. You sure should not think that way. <laughs> These are all examples of what you're not allowed to think, you're not allowed to say, and boy, if you put it on Facebook, you'll probably lose your page or certainly be censored. But the question is, what can you do? And this is a legitimate question, one that is something we need to all answer and think about here. So here's some examples. I think we should all commit acts of wrong think and free speech. Commit acts of free speech on a daily basis, even if that's just talking to your friends, your neighbors, and other people. It's amazing how many people are self-silencing and they're censoring themselves because they don't think anybody believes the same things that they believe or that they can see just with their own eyes. And support those who get canceled for committing wrong think. When somebody is silenced out there for speaking the truth and actually daring to speak up about it, try to support them, find a way to support them, share their articles, share their stories, subscribe to their channel, recognize that they're much more truthful than your traditional media that decide to cancel them or silence them in the first place. Rebel against this censorship, this government media or big tech censorship, wherever it's coming from, 
it's incumbent upon us as Americans and free people to actually recognize that uh, we're adults. We can actually figure this stuff out for ourselves. Free debate, there's nothing wrong with it. Silencing and censoring us is not the best plan. It's not the best thing for a healthy society at all. Don't conform to groupthink. Look deeper to find the truth. It is out there and you can find it. Question authority and speak truth to power, particularly those who don't want you to. But I mean, this is the kind of thing that it used to be common to say that in the 60s and the 70s, and now suddenly that is a defining act of somebody who's going to actually dare question authority and speak truth to power. How dare you do that? And try to organize with other free thinkers, other people who have the ability to think for themselves. If you organize, you'll be surprised how many other people feel the same way you do. Or they've just been afraid to come out of their shell and actually talk about the same thing. Don't let the world censor you or silence you. So again, this goes back to the original point that we were trying to make here in the beginning. How much is our news censored? It's censored a lot. Every bit of news that comes out, especially at the national level, is censored and crafted and manipulated to present an image and a message that fits whatever the groupthink idea of the time is. And as we've seen with the Wuhan virus or discussion of elections, that changes all the time. It could be the exact opposite issue one year later, and you'd be censored for it one year and celebrated for having that same conversation the next. It's obviously censored. That's not a healthy situation to be in. The bigger question is, how much will we allow ourselves to be silent? silenced. And this is a question not just for somebody like me that's a citizen journalist, it's for you. If you're just the person who reads this or you're watching this video right now, how much will you allow yourself to be silenced? Because in the end, they can't censor all of us and the more of us who work together to spread this word, spread the truth, commit terrible acts of wrong think or free speech, the more we share that with others, the better off I think we'll all be. Now, if you like this video, please feel free to subscribe, share it with others. It's very important for us to continue to commit these acts of free speech and wrong think. So uh, again, if you want to learn more, go to wethegovern.com. I have various stories of committing wrong, uh, wrong thoughts, <laughs> wrong speak, and daring to question authority and speak truth to power for years on my YouTube channel and on my website. Go to wethegovern.com. And remember, when it comes to activism and committing free speech, the future belongs to those who show up.